Good morning. What a beautiful day. Uh, spring has arrived, and the other day the weather was up in the 80s. So I'm always glad about that. I think one of my favorite seasons of the year is springtime. Unfortunately, we find ourselves here in America and in our world in a very serious situation. And so I want to uh, talk to you about the seriousness of this pandemic at the same time give you a good encouraging word from the scriptures. Uh, we need to face the seriousness of this pandemic, but at the same time we need to be cautious and alert, and we need to be protective of ourselves and others by not spreading this virus. I've been listening to the president and the coronavirus task force, and uh, thank God that we have a president who's not standing aside, but taking action and listening to a lot of good, sound, professional people. And so, praise God for the uh, alertness and the fact that they've taken these precautions. I want to read some scripture to you uh, from Philippians chapter 4, uh, from the NIV, beginning in verse 5. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. I believe the best way to deal with any pandemic, any crisis that we're in, is to be spiritually prepared. Uh, and the way we do that is, first and foremost, we must pray. We must listen to the voice of God. We must uh, store adequate food and essentials, uh, share with others, and be a, a positive word of encouragement to others. Um, the thing we don't need to do is the panic. Uh, there's a Proverbs uh, that is very clear and makes some real strong points. It's Proverbs chapter 22, verse 3. reads as follows. A prudent man foresees the danger and the evil, whereas the foolish and simple ignore things, pass on blindly, and suffer consequences. So I just want to encourage everyone to um, don't panic, but at the same time, we need to make preparation. We have no idea how long this pandemic is going to last. Hopefully, it won't last that long and it'll be over in spite of the consequences that we're seeing. Unfortunately, uh, currently, about 14,250 cases of people who've been infected by this virus, and I think 205 people have lost. The mortality rate is very low. Praise God for that. But at the same time, we need to be part of the answer, a solution and not a problem. Um, Abraham Lincoln, when he was in the midst of one of the most difficult times in America, uh, said the following. He said this, I pray to God that everything depends on him and I work for everything depends on me. So it's, it's a point of having faith, but also works. And so we need to be proactive. We need to uh, make sure we're doing the right thing for our family, our friends, our uh, congregation, our community. And here's what I believe. I believe that God can use this thing. He can take something that was meant for evil, this invisible enemy, and turn it to good. And I'm believing and know that this invisible enemy, this COVID-19 virus will be defeated, and we as God's chosen people will triumph. This will be an opportune time for us when people realize they can't depend on science, they can't depend on uh, the fact that we have no control over this invisible enemy, but we have a God who's our healer, who's our protector, who's our provider, and we need to be able to use what God has given to us to Speak into the lives and hearts of people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. So at this time, I'm going to close out and, and just want you to uh, bow your head in prayer. We're going to ask God to be with us this time. 
and know that he has us and he's protecting us and watch over us. I don't know anyone in our church or anyone in the community who's affected by this virus, but we want to make sure that we cooperate and do what our leaders are saying and that we use this as an opportunity to trust in the Lord. If you would, bow your head at this time. Father, we come in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we're not going to be full of anxiety and worry. We're going to put our faith and trust in you. I pray, God, that you will speak to every heart and every life this morning. And God, we know that you're going to uh, get us through this, that uh, we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. Lord, we thank you for your love, protection, and God, that you have us in the palm of your hand. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you.